Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to customize your very own Warzone custom health bar slash banner. I've seen a lot of big Twitch streamers and YouTube streamers have these on their streams whenever they're playing games like Apex Warzone, and I decided to make a template that is free to everybody and they could download it, customize it, export it, and use it on their stream. And I'll also be making follow-up videos on my TikTok to talk about things that may not have been mentioned in this video. The needed programs for this tutorial will be After Effects and WinRAR. I will have the download links in the description for both of them. Now to start out, you're gonna click the link in the description of this video and it'll bring you to the Warzone custom banner. This is a Google Drive link where all you have to do is come up to the download all button and click it. This will zip up your file and more than likely it'll go into the downloads folder. Once you get to the downloads folder or wherever it downloaded to, you're going to right click on it and then extract to Warzone custom banner. This was a very important step from the last tutorial for the Apex custom banner. If you don't do this and you just open it up by left clicking, it'll unlink items within the template. You're gonna double click a bunch of times until finally you get to this folder right here. Before we click on our save file, we're going to head into our footage tab and we're going to download this font that we use inside of the template. It's as simple as right clicking and then clicking on install. You can also install for all users. Now after it's installed, we're going to go back one folder and then we're going to click on Warzone. Once the template opens up, you will be met with a pop-up that says to resolve fonts. Just click OK. We're not using any of those fonts. And then this is the page that you are met with as soon as you open up the template. Now it looks very complicated, but really it's not. We're going to walk through it together. To start off, if you go up to Effect Controls Control Layer, this is going to be your main color palette for the entire banner. If you don't see this window, head up to Window and then come all the way down here to Effect Controls Control Layer. Click on that and it should pop up. Now here you can see we can change different items like the color of the text. We can also change the extrusion of the text itself. We can change the glow. Now, really the glow, it, you, you can kind of see it on the screen, but more than likely you can't, you might as well just change it to the same color of your text. You can also change the background and then the border of the background. As you can see, we have full control of all of the colors inside of the template. I also added something new on this one. You can add in if you want some outline bars for your uh, health and then your money and then your shields, of course. I've noticed that it sometimes looks good with some colors and it sometimes doesn't. So I gave you the option and here's how you do it. You click this little eyeball on the bars outline tab down here. So you have your control layer and then you have your bars outline. You can toggle it on and off. Next, let's talk about switching this name from sample to your channel. To start off, you're going to click on replace text here. And as you can see, scrolling through the timeline, we have full control of the text itself. It's kind of hard to see. So to make a black background appear, you're going to go down here on toggle transparency grid, click it. And now we can see our text to change the text listed here. You're going to double click. That'll highlight the whole thing. And while we're here, let's go over something that I completely forgot to talk about in the last tutorial, how to change your font. I gave you guys a font, but if you guys don't want to use this font, you want to use your own. Here's how with all of the text selected here, you're going to come over to this character tab, click the drop down, and now you have options to the fonts that are listed on your computer. If you don't see this character window, we're going to do the same thing where we go up to the window tab, scroll down until you see character, click it and it should pop up. Another thing that I really like about this template is that you can go back and forth from this replace text here tab to the render me tab and it updates live. So you get to see as everything happens. Um, now, in this case, let's say that you want to make the text a little bit bigger. So you're going to come over here and inside of text, you're going to make sure that this selection tool is selected. You're going to click it and then grab one of these corners here and just yank it. Now you can see that we're not holding any ratio. We're going to hold shift and that will keep the ratio. Once you have a look that you like, you can head back over to the render me tab. Of course, that's a little big. It's cutting out of the box a tiny bit. There is a hidden box that kind of like keeps everything in order. So make sure that you're in that box. Finally, we get something that I'm really liking. All the text comes in, we get that little fade. It kind of sticks out of the box, which I kind of like. And that's how you replace your text. Now, if you guys have any problems with this, please let me know and I will be commenting back and more than likely creating a TikTok videos for this that will be short 30 second ones to fix whatever problems that you guys are having. Last thing to go over is replacing your logo, which of course is right along the bottom inside of replace logo here. You're gonna click on this tab 
And as you can see, your logo fits in the very bottom corner of, of our look here that we have. Um, and so when you guys import your logo, which we're going to go over in a second, it's more than likely going to pop up up here in the center of the screen. So just be aware of that your logo is not missing. It's in the center of the screen. In order to upload your logo, you're going to head over inside of this project tab. Uh, this is kind of the bank of all the assets used inside of the template. You're going to right click in here and then click import and then file. Scroll through, find your logo. Um, you can upload it by just double clicking on it. It'll pop up inside of the project tab and we're just going to drag it in over top of our main logo. My logo is white, can't really see it. So of course we're going to click the toggle transparency grid. Now to drag it over, all you're going to do is make sure that it is selected down here. Um, just make sure that it's not accidentally sample logo. You're going to make sure that this is selected. You can come over and drag one of these corners. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the text by holding shift. It'll keep the ratio and we'll get it to the size that we want. And then we're going to move it down to the bottom in order to turn off the sample logo. We'll go down here and click the I on the sample logo tab. And now we have our logo set in place. Of course, you can go back to the render me tab and see it switched live. I'm not getting the full logo in here, nor am I getting the right parts of the logo. So we'll do a little bit more experimenting. You can also to get closer to your logo, as you can see, we're zoomed out very far and you guys may be more zoomed in, but to uh, mess around with this, you can click this drop down right here and this will make the preview window larger. If you're just looking at a black screen because it zooms into the center, you're gonna hold down space and this will bring a hand up and you can move your preview window around. Now that we have the logo in a good looking place, let's head back over to the render me tab. It's looking a bit better. We can go back and forth and mess around with it. And I am liking the look of that. Other than the fact that it says sample, but you know, hey, this is just for the tutorial. So as you guys are finishing the customization process, now it's time to head into the rendering process. So let's make sure that you are in the render me tab. And then we're going to go up here, click on composition and then add to render queue. Down at the bottom, you should see a difference. Now we are in the render queue tab. We're going to double click on lossless. This will help us change our version and the format of our video. We're going to change it from an AVI file to a QuickTime file. And then we're going to hit RGB plus alpha. I have noticed that some people um, like to render things out inside of media encoder. It'll work the exact same. Just make sure that you have QuickTime selected and then you select animation. This is all looking good. Now we're going to click OK. The last thing to do before we hit the render button is we're going to specify what folder to output it to. I'm just going to output it to my desktop and then we're going to click render. Once it's done rendering, now it's time to get it onto your stream. If you are an OBS or a slobs user, first, let me go over with you guys how to do it. Um, you can see that I'm in OBS right here inside of your sources for your uh, Warzone gaming display. Uh, whatever scene you have for Warzone, make sure you're in that scene. Inside of sources, you're going to right click, add, and then add a media source. Once you name it whatever you want, it's gonna open this window. You're gonna head on over to where it says browse, go through and find your render, double click on your render, and then make sure you hit loop and we should be good. You can hit okay. Now our banner is on our stream. It's already cut in a 1920 by 1080 ratio, ready for you to use. You can start up Warzone right now, throw it as a game capture underneath this banner. Now, if you are a stream elements user, let me show you how to convert this into a WebM file. There is a website called AC Convert MOV to WebM. I'm going to have this listed down in the description. Uh, once you click it, you should come to this website. You're going to choose your render that you just rendered out wherever it was. Double click on it. It's already set to WebM and then we're going to convert now. After waiting about 10 minutes, this will pop up down at the bottom. All you have to do is click the download button. It'll open up a new window. You're going to click this file URL. And now it's opened up to our banner. Click these three dots in the corner and click download. So for the stream element users, you'll have to upload this into your Warzone template that you guys have saved, like your Warzone overlay. But for testing sake, I'm just going to add this as another source. 
just to make sure that it worked. You'll click on the file, make sure it's looped. And yes, we have a WebM file that does have an alpha channel in it. It's gonna be way less harsh on your computer and the parts needed while you're streaming. Very soon I will be coming out with a DaVinci Resolve template that you can use and download that will easily create the exact same thing but for completely free. So if you guys are looking for any Warzone, Apex, Splitgate, Fortnite, any of these new newer games that are coming out even, um, I will be making lower thirds, banners, and a bunch of things for them for you guys and your stream. That way you can be all branded up. One more thing, streaming DMCA safe is my playlist that I have created and I've had ever since I started streaming, stopped streaming, and now here we are. Uh, the playlist has grown to almost 10,000 followers and it is a one press and go for a full 80 hours. So it will run your course for any subathon that you're doing or any small stream that you're doing. You'll always be listening to different music. No more having to switch playlists, switch music. It's all in one spot. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.